Hello everyone, it's Dranina here and uh, welcome back to Dota Underlords. Uh, excuse me, by the way, for last episode, I didn't realize it was only 10 minutes long. So, I kind of was surprised when I first stopped recording that it was only 10 minutes and I was like, mm, I could have probably done another knockout match. So, I'm sorry for that. Uh, we're just going to try to keep a more, better eye on how long an episode is going to last. I mean, I'm trying to aim for like 15 min minutes or so. Maybe even 20. I know standard matches are like usually 30 to 40, maybe 50 minutes if it's really, really not well. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. We're going to try again to become a bit more uh, higher ranked than just fifth, which wasn't that great. Raw healers is not bad, which also probably opens up a way. Yeah, I mean, we're missing Witch Doctor, which was like was expected because I mean we're missing Warlock. If we get Witch Doctor, it would be really, really nice. Let's go for attack damage on I think Dizzle has the highest. Uh no, I was completely wrong. It's actually uh, Shadow Shaman. Uh let's get that rider in here. Reroll once. And we have Witch Doctor. Awesome. Uh, can we get someone out? Who like they say pull, pull Wallock out, but it's like the most Yeah, I mean I get it why they suggest it because you finish up troll you don't want to pull any trolls out rather not pull any knights out. I think doing this is better. I really do think so. Like we do have the healing. Which I mean should keep us alive a little bit. And in the meantime, the serpents are attacking me back. I mean, it's the quickest victory I think I've, like, had in a long, long time. Besides, of course, the obvious uh, moment where people didn't have any units on the field, which is quite rare, I have to say, for knockout, since you only have four lives. Um, the people usually take those four lives very, very seriously, and not like in sent matches where they want to have a losing streak. So that doesn't really work here. Then goes for interest points. Don't try that knockout, people. It's not gonna work. Um, who are we going for? I think we could choose a little bit more tankiness with trolls and healers. You dare. Uh, finally, if only knights complete, and uh, have a warlock. Uh, let's put you guys close together. Uh, let's pull you a little bit closer. So we do have a uh, full troll alliance, um, Monty Knight alliance, Monty um, Wallach alliance, and almost a complete healer alliance. We just need Necroforce, which means we want to grab a, ne uh, a Wallach as well, because that means since Necroforce is also Wallach and healer, we get level 2 Wallach as well. Uh, which Wallach would suit us best? I Shadow Fiend wouldn't be bad, I suppose. Does this guy also have healing? No. It kind of surprises me. Uh, might be winning this one simply because we survived a little bit longer. Um, we now have serpents on the board. Yeah, that does really help us. Really, really much. Alright, so which level can I expect? Expect Necrofoss actually right now already, because I see a Doom already, and as far as I know, Necrofoss is a tier four unit. Uh, are you doing a lot of damage? Uh, not that much, but also you don't have a high attack speed. You are actually doing more, so let's put Crystalis on you. Uh, let's do a bit of free rolling. Uh, not interested. Ooh, and Necrofoss. Let's lock this one. A lot of three leisure commander already. Well done. What kind of alliances do you have? Uh, leisure commander, summoner, and human. Is an interesting one. A very, very interesting one. We won't lose today. I mean, we've got a classic meta alliance at this point. This guy also has healing, but he killed one of his healers quite quickly. Luckily for us. Oh, uh, they're probably wanting to steal only knight. But we have enough healing to keep him alive long enough. 
Awesome. This is doing really, really well. I think we got very lucky. The characters that we got when we began. Alright, so here we have a necrophos. Let's put... People a bit in the corner? I mean, I've got more units than I know what to do with. Uh, let's switch you guys around and you guys around. Do something like this. And then search for the other characters. One, there we go. <laughs> and now I find a level 3 Warlock, which means we could have done demons, but we didn't, which is also quite fine. You have, don't have a single demon. Also, like, my jewel is full health, but they're all attacking jewel. Yeah, my healing is just too great, which I'm really, really happy with. Yeah. And in the meantime, like the serpents from uh, Shadow Shaman just eliminated everyone who was in the back here. Which kind of explains why he did 4,000 damage. Alright, not interested in any of these. Let's go for Battle Fury. I think I should give that to, like, I can give to Omni Knight. That's the only person I can give it to. I mean, do that much damage, but the other things weren't great either, so... Uh, let's search a bit. Have to keep an eye out that we, for next round we have to have someone. So a brute mother is not actually a bad idea, but a disruptor is an even better idea. I feel like. But yeah, let's just wait and see. We still have four health, which is rather nice. Uh, people are getting level three units, which can turn tight real, real quickly. Oh, and this is the guy we played against in the first rounds, I think. And he also has healing. I have healing. Or at least, oh, he probably has life stealing. Um, yeah, it seems like we're winning this. Because Jewel's staying alive so long, and... Um... Also, it kind of surprised me that we had two sets of serpents on the board. Like, what's the cooldown? Like, 20 seconds. I will not be um, I think this Raptor is better. Let's do this. Uh, grab the Yomni Knight. Let's not forget that. And uh, nothing that really interests me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, also, I don't think I can put this on anyone but Omni Knight still. Okay. As you can see, we've got a lovely arrangement of units who may be level 3 next round. Uh, we're still on 4 health, the others are on 2 or 1 health. But this is going way better than last round, which I'm really, really happy with, because I was kind of worried. Hunters. How is this going? I see this raptor got the back targeted. Like, everyone is full health again. And Jewel is gone, which means we can focus on all the other units. Yeah, I mean, our healing is just too great. Awesome. This is looking really, really nice. How old is doing on level 3 units, by the way? All have more than I. Which is kind of crazy to see, if you think about it. And also we get level 1 Dazzle in here. Uh, you have more attack damage. Let's give Castellus to Witch Doctor. Um... See who can we grab and put in here. There we go. Uh, got level 3 Bed Rider is, is very nice to see as well. Uh, I'm just gonna reroll once and see. As it's just gonna be Brutmada who's going in next. Uh, let's switch out by the way for Disruptor. Uh, you know what, let's not do that. Hmm. It's also very, very nice. Like, I don't think we can have, like, a full Warlock build, but it's probably as close as it's going to get. Also, this guy lost only against me, which is kind of funny to see. Uh, we might be losing this one, I think. 
because Jewel is down. So unless we have very much luck in getting some of them down really quick. No, we're losing this one. That's a shame. Oh well, stuff can happen. Uh, let's put you in here. Uh, Necrofoss to the second level, which is very nice. Can we get you in without compromising on anything else? No, we can't. Which is a little bit of a shame. Like, either one is a troll. I can do this. Oh, oh no, he's a healer. We need him in here. Alright, so we have a uh, Shadow Fiend. He's going in next. Which is in two rounds, so... Kind of interesting to see how things are going to go. Oh, you also have quite a bit of healing, I have to say. Which is unfortunate for me. Also because your damage is this greater than I. I'm doing damage. That is a little bit of a shame. Oh well. By the way, we get you in because... Um... Let's switch you around because I have a feeling everyone is coming from this side and we're not meeting them head on. Which is our main problem here, I feel like. Uh, let's go here and here and here. Alright. Well, that's to the third level. Only night to the third level. No, nothing of interest. Okay, no props. Your armor lost Warlock. There's like no chance for me to grab anything else. Let's put you a little bit to the back, I feel like. So like the ones who are left. Healer, healer, healer and magic resistance. So many level threes. Like I have a feeling I'm, I did something wrong. Holy crap, they are doing so much damage. Also you have a Lich. Damn, you're doing a lot of damage. I wouldn't have had expected that. Uh, but at least third, which is really nice to see. I am done biting my tongue. Ah, me too, me too. Um, let's see what else are we going to get? I a level two dazzle. Uh, let's kind of rise over. No, oh, you have to be close. Uh, let's do something like this. I mean, probably isn't ideal, but I didn't use Shiva's guard on anyone. We will rise My bad. Challenge. You probably, you guys have probably been screaming at me like you Shiva's guard, and I didn't. One of the alpha. That's annoying. Uh, that's annoying as well. Come on, come on, come on. Get the terabyte out of the way. And Everton needs to get out of the way, but I don't think that's gonna happen. No, we're going to lose. That's a shame. A third. But still, I'm really proud of that. That isn't too bad. And we did actually get the chicken out. No, we didn't get the chicken out, buddy. Almost. Was, you're almost hitting level 80. Like, that's insane. I thought for a moment, when it was like around May or June, that I wasn't going to hit level 50 whatsoever. Uh, when it comes to better pass, but now I'm about to head level, uh, about to get level 80. Also, I might say something about the length of the season, but I'm not going to talk about that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode with quite well, with a uh, rather fantastic build. Like, it's not one of the builds that I would highly recommend when doing knockout, but it's a very sustainable build. It's just a shame that the others had uh, a lot of healing as well, which made it somehow quite hard to get some of the healing units, especially like Shadow Fiend, like Dazzle we got in the last possible moment, we got Dazzle to level 2. So, it wasn't ideal, but still, it went quite okay, we became third. 
So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. If you got any tips or tricks for me here at Dota Underlords or you got a suggestion for a combination of alliances that I really should try in one of my videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day and I see you guys next time.